A forgotten artifact lies in pieces on a planet far from Earth. Few know it exists except those who took it back and those whose ancestors created it. Four young people are thrown into a race against emissaries of the gods to find its pieces. Mistrust, greed, and magic are tangled in an endless web. What will the fate be of the universe once it is found and reassembled? Get Scepter of the Gods, The Rod of Truth now on Amazon and get wrapped up in the saga that will not let you go. Good morning, and welcome to the Motivational Devotion, where we are merging motivation and spirituality to create a daily dose of confident positivity. I hope that this morning's podcast will help you to be more spiritually and positively motivated so that you can transform your day. I have an idea for a new TV show, but I can't decide if it should be a cop show or a business show. I'm leaning more toward a combination of the two and making it ex-cops who start a business as private detectives. But the real purpose of the show is to have each episode focus on what it really takes to turn dreams into reality. Yeah, they'll have their clients in typical cases and run-ins with officers trying to keep the private eyes out of crime scenes, evidence, and all that stuff. But the main plot would have to do with the hustle and grind it takes to have a dream, stick to the dream, set goals, suffer through setbacks and disappointments, and still do what it takes to plow forward. Of course, somehow the two main characters would be called hustle and grind, but those are kind of ridiculous names. I share that idea as a funny thing, but honestly, doesn't it sound more interesting than a lot of stuff you sat through on primetime TV? It does to me, and a show like that might actually help people have realistic expectations when it comes to making dreams reality. Those unrealistic expectations are the things each one of us needs to ferret out, expose to the light of truth and understanding, and fix. I have seen many videos over the last, I don't know, 10 or so years maybe, videos by people who figured out some secret, put it to work, and then Boom! Financial benefits far exceeding their wildest expectations. Work, 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 apply the secret, and then just like that, no more need for hustle and grind. You made it. Easy Street. And you too can get in on that secret and put it to work for just $39.99 a month. But not to worry, they'll let you build it annually for a reduced fee. Well, there's the secret, and it's called bilking other people out of their money in the hopes of no more hustle and grind while the sellers of these plans are hustling and grinding their way to the bank. I know that sounds extremely cynical, and maybe it is, but there isn't a shortcut. You have a dream. You set your goals. The brutal reality is that it might take you a really long time to hustle and grind out what it takes to achieve your goals. You're going to lose hope and you will have to find it again. You are going to lose interest because it is getting hard and your inspiring dream feels more like a job. You are going to let all those unrealistic expectations in your mind try to convince you that you are doing something wrong and you are just banging your head against a wall doing what you are doing. But those are the times you need to pause the hustle and grind and not so you can go play Call of Duty or binge watch a series. Your pause might only take a few minutes, or it might take longer, but don't let it take long enough to lose your momentum. Pause just long enough to go back to your dream. Read it more than once. Remind yourself why you are doing what you are doing. Then take another moment to look at your goals. Try to be objective and ask yourself if by achieving that goal or those goals, will that take you closer to realizing your dream? And then finally... Pause long enough to look at the tasks for those goals and be brutally honest with yourself by asking whether those tasks are on target for achieving those goals. I heard a wise person say years and years ago that you set your goals in concrete and your plans in sand. Adjust your tasks if you need to, but don't touch the goals. The greatest likelihood is that the only change you need to make is in the six inches between your ears by changing your expectations of how long it will take, how much work is required, and how little things may pay off before your goals are reached. After you take that pause, you should have rekindled your energy and determination. 
you should have renewed interest in the relentless pursuit of your dream. You should be inspired all over again by the value of your dream and what it means to you. And maybe, just maybe, you will have clarified your dream even further to make it even more compelling for you to generate urgency and to not give away any more precious minutes to things that don't feed your spirit, don't feed your family, and don't feed your dream. Your future self is begging you to do what it takes today. Slog through the muck. Make your phone calls you don't feel like making. Do the marketing research you find so tedious. Practice at whatever art form you are working on so much that your fingers hurt or your toes hurt or your muscles want to cramp up. Do the hustle and the grind until you feel like you don't have it in you and then dig down and find more of it. I say this often and I will say it again here. I don't do this podcast so that I can tell people what I think they should do like I'm holier than thou or something. I don't take any money for this podcast, and maybe over time I will get some benefit from advertising, but for you, the listener, this is free, and I only share what works for me and what I do to relentlessly pursue my own dream and my own goals, and I share what I myself need to hear. I have given up more than once in my lifetime thinking, what's the point? This is taking so long that I'm probably doing it wrong and headed the wrong direction anyway. Don't do that. Don't be that person. I didn't know then to take that pause and to take it for those reasons. I didn't know then that there is no such thing as easy street. And I didn't know then how much hustle and grind is required over what might be an extended period of time before the first shred of evidence appears that goals are coming to fruition. But I know that now, and I know that it does take all that, and I know now that it does work, because it is working for me. I am also greatly blessed in that I have someone who believes in me as much, sometimes maybe even more, than I believe in myself, and that is invaluable beyond anything else I can imagine. If you have such a person, let them know how grateful you are and do your best to be the same for them. If you don't have such a person, then you have to do what I used to have to do, which is to be that for yourself. Be your best cheerleader. Listen to motivational audio and find motivational videos and listen to positive music like Zade Wolf's No Limits. I love that one. Or Toby Mac's Move. Sometimes you just have to say to yourself, suck it up, buttercup. Keep up the hustle and grind. You can. If that dream was a good idea, it is still a good idea. The universe put that dream in you and it's time for you to start becoming the person who makes it reality even if it takes years. So, as the star of the show, what will you do in the next episode of Hustle and Grind? In the words of Tenacious D, kick it with a tasty groove. Because all of creation is conspiring in your favor. Trust that the universe always has your back. Jack Black once said, I think of myself as an entertainment arsenal. Like, I have my acting bazooka and my music machete, and you don't know what I'm going to come at you with. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Please help keep this podcast going by following the Motivational Devotional Facebook page, following at Threefold Way Radio on Twitter, and sharing the written format of today's message from motivational-devotional.com on your social media. I am deeply grateful for your support And thank you for letting Motivational Devotional be part of your journey. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Motivational Devotional is a production of Threefold Way Radio, LLC.